Anthony is the founding partner of Anthony LG and has been hosting podcasts and blogs and writing articles on corporate and securities law. And she is the corporate lawyer for Sustainable Green Team. So uh, we're going to get a little input from you as well. But let's start with Laura. So just tell me about corporate law. Why are you passionate about that? Oh, my gosh. I just I love building business. I've always been into business and doing transactions. I always knew I wanted to be an attorney in the capital markets. Uh, there's nothing that gives me more pleasure than seeing a company close a deal. You know, I guess I'm a deal junkie and, and <laughs> helping companies. And, yeah. you know, I picked a lane. I picked securities law as my lane and, and have learned it very well. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about your team. Oh, I have an amazing team. They're all from big firms and everybody works their, their butts off all day, every day. Um, you know, we communicate, even though we work remote a lot, we communicate throughout the day, multiple times throughout the day, and, and we just have a wonderful team. Yeah, and Tony, she's your corporate lawyer for Sustainable Absolutely. Green Team. So uh, talk to me about, I mean, this is kind of an obvious question, but why is it important to have a corporate attorney? Well, you know, when you're a CEO of a company and you have vision, you really want to spend time uh, growing your business. And so having a, a corporate attorney uh, that's diverse like this group is, you know, there's a real um, incredible amount of depth to have attorneys to do the, the work that they are the best at doing and allows us to concentrate on doing what we do best. Yeah. Yeah. And keeps you out of trouble, I think. And keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> That's the idea. Right? <laughs> I mean, you can run it compliance. I mean, everything is just getting so complicated. It's, it's a tough regulatory environment. Yeah. And it's not just knowing the rules, right? You can know the rules, but you have to know the process and, you know, the, the guidance, right? So within, just like in any industry, you know, the way that, that things work is beyond reading a rule in a textbook, right? You have to know the players, know what's an SEC focus or NASDAQ's focus or any regulator's focus at any given time, and that's shifting and changing all the time. Yeah. So, you know, it's really something that you have to be focused on to be, to be good at. Yeah, and Tony, I, I know you're traded on the OTC. Um, does the fact you have a securities attorney mean you might be uplisting or? You know, that's ultimately the goal, you know, for any OTC company would be to have an uplisting. Yeah, okay, so we'll stay tuned on that. And just finally, Laura, tell me about like your ideal client, like who? Tony Rayner. <laughs> <laughs> so what, ma what makes a good company? Uh, Oh, well, you have to have a team that's a CEO that's passionate about their project and what they're doing, has to have vision, has to know how to implement and execute. So, you know, all clients come to me and they have great ideas, but they can't execute, right? So you have to be able to execute. And Tony is a perfect example of a CEO that can execute, works very hard, has vision, and has the ability to put the team together. And, you know, there's a certain, you know, you have it, right? So, you know, and he, and and definitely he has it but that's the ideal client and that understands process right so uh, and is realistic about process yeah. and growth it takes I a lot of work yeah that, that is work. very important yeah. well thank you so much for explaining this part of, of being an entrepreneur so thank you Tony and Laura for coming thank in. you thank, thank you, you.